All right, so one of the quirks of a positive ground car, we have one of these really cool little testers. This has got a little sharp point here, and the idea is that you could be sitting in the car or basically put your hand on the body somewhere, creating the ground, and then you only need the probe for 12 volts with this little device here, wirelessly. So you can see how this has to work. On a positive ground car, it gets confused because you actually have to put your finger on the connection you're trying to verify and then stab the here in this case we're stabbing the uh, transmission housing, the, the flywheel housing and you can see that you create 12 volts by going off ground Let's see if I can do it here, I've got my arm just resting on the body and no that won't work, i got to create the positive here but the idea is that this makes it hard to test, we've been trying to fix this horn and so we've got the horn off and it's really hard, I end up having to stab the body while holding the connection I'm trying to test. So let's go on here and show step one of our conversion to negative ground. We can see here we've loosened up the battery hold down clamp. So step one is to disconnect the battery cable the way it is. Let's take the positive off first since it's our ground in this case. So there's our positive ground. Here's the battery negative which goes to the car's uh, fuse box and up to the solenoid there where we were just testing. So there's step one. Step two involves using both hands. I don't have a camera person here. This is a single take as usually we do. So give me a few minutes. Our, our cables aren't long enough to reach to just simply reverse them. So I'm going to reverse the battery's position in here and then we'll come back and show step two.